Hey everyone, it's Rico here today. I'm your Go High Level Ninja. Today we're gonna talk about how to set up your automated sub account for your client in just under three minutes. A lot, like this is very, very painful for me to get this straight. I wish if someone told me this when I first had my high level account, it would save me so much pain, so much time by having all of the structure and all of this foundation in place. So today video, we're gonna talk to you about how to set a solid foundation, which is the snapshot so you can replicate it onto your sub account aka your client account in a matter of minute right using your VA just doing little little tasks and by using automation you will minimize and keep the human error at minimal and we also going to be talking about the workflow around it the logistic behind it the thinking behind it and a little bit of checklist and we're gonna give you the checklist at the end as well on how to do everything properly before we get to it I just want to let you know that we do have a free Facebook group where you can answer ask questions about anything go high level related and an opportunity to network with other marketer that also using the platform and a weekly Q&A like all of the resource will be in that group so make sure you check the comment for the link to that Facebook group and make sure that you subscribe for future update and for more content like this so without further ado let's start so first let explain the workflow I want you to understand the workflow before we get start to it and if this doesn't make sense we're gonna show you exactly what that means in our dummy high level account in a second first of all we start off with a form It's called an account creation form I'm not gonna go into detail about how that works because we have a separate video on how you can automate your go high level account by asking the client to fill in a form it using Zapier and it just talk with each other um, with Zapier and all that stuff I'm gonna be leaving a link of that video somewhere around this video let's say when you on board a client you ask them to fill in their information on that form that information is going to be true because that information come from them and that information going to be become a custom field in that sub account hopefully you still follow me um, but I'm gonna, like I said I'm going to show you exactly what that means when that information is true become a custom field and that custom field will become a custom value that custom field going to become a custom value and that custom value going to be used in trigger to set automation in trigger and campaign and everything going to be set up in automation but without further ado let me just show you what exactly do I mean here without getting you quite confused if we come to setting left hand side here setting and we go into the company section this value the email the phone the company the website the address everything would be true because it will be input by the client from the form so that information will not be modified by any of your team and it will be 100% true unless the client make the mistake on their end and and that information gonna be become a custom field the system will pull the information out as like account email account phone number account detail all that stuff and then that custom field will become a custom value that custom field because we set it to be this value this key will be equal this value and the system will pull out this value from the information that the client put off you can see here location dot phone and location dot email that would be straight from the host's mouth straight from here and then what we do is that we can modify a value and we can set it as a lead notification email and the lead notification phone number and if you can just come in here and if you want to be not notified yourself the Facebook ad manager or the account manager you can just add it in there but by default it should notify the client email by itself so this is why it's so important to have a, a foundation and a snapshot that's set up like this because once it's all set up it's just default to be sending email the lead notification email to that client email and if you want to be fancy you always put like one company email you that always stay there and that can be rinse and repeat guys this is a snapshot right this setup will be rinse and repeat in all of the new account the last thing I want to show you is like in the trigger level so if you come to the trigger when we do a campaign or anything it will be sending into that value to that custom value it will be sending to this custom value and that value will have everything and the reason why we don't send it to the field because the field is only have one value but the value have can have multiple value hope I'm not catching myself off trip here when you put the value there the reason why we don't send it to the field is that I got a lot of people asking me this question is that when you come to the value you can put an email as an example so you can always add and modify this value to be anything so it's easy to adjust but if you put the custom field it's very hard to adjust because there's you can't really adjust the location dot email sort of thing so if you can come here you can add you can minus you can play a lot of things by understanding this workflow 
now your setup time to the whole account is just completely demolished to like a few minutes. And I would have shown you how to do that under three minutes without explaining it to you, but I'm taking this time to explain it to you. That's why this video get a little bit longer. This is the checklist we have. Make sure that you let me know if I do miss anything. All our VA have to do, all our virtual assistant or executive assistant have to do is just come in here. And the first thing they do is come to setting company. Just want to make sure that the email and the phone number field is not blank. They just want to make sure that literally they just click and just want, there's nothing that they have to do. It's just by checking it. And they come to setting custom value. They want to make sure that they come in here and then they see it look exactly right like this. And obviously we have our SOP internally where other people have to be modified by the lead flow. So she just come in here and she add my phone number. So I get notified on the phone as well. And then she add the Facebook ad account manager. We just leave that as a manual task for now. We don't want to be automating that part because each account is quite different, at least for our situation right now. But if you want to automate that, just have a fixed email, right? Just have a fixed email, example at gmail.com. Here, just do a comma, just like example at gmail.com. I have a fixed email, then it will be forever be fixed. The next part they want to do that can be really automated by is come to team member and come to edit and come to calendar setting right availability and pick a calendar setting for the client so obviously dummy test account have not been properly i think we haven't really all oh, here just come in here and select the calendar for this user the campaign when it requests appointment all that stuff as well that part can't really be automated yet she just make a few click hopefully that makes sense and one more thing is that i think this is the same one setting company i'm overlapping my checklist here the third one is the same one so again come into company make sure that the phone and the email are not blank and the last part is what i feel like should have been automated but can't be so if you have if you know how to missing something up so let me know the last part is come to campaign right this is our real estate snapshot by the way in appointment you want to be coming in here and you want to be selecting that user and then save it right and then save it because what happened is that if you don't have the user in here the text doesn't know what user it is and it doesn't get assigned we have done that on the trigger level where we assign the user on a trigger level but when you transfer that to a new account it's always have different user because you have different clients for each of the account so hopefully i, I don't want to go to the technical bit of confusing you but i just feel like we try everything um i don't feel that could be automated yet but that part is still need to be manually done but literally that's what your virtual assistant have to do she just come in here and check check number one check number two do number three and do number four that literally less than three minutes or oh, if not less than one minute. So this is it. This is how you can set up your account, automated account by having a strong foundation. And like I said, guys, if someone told me this from the beginning, when I first have my high level account, it would just save me so much pain, so much time and so much effort. Because when we actually found out and perfect the system, we got to go back and change a lot of our client account to tidy up, to make it look like this foundation that we just speak here. So but if you have that from the beginning, hopefully you're watching this video when you have your brand new high level account, it will save you so much time. But if you haven't have your high level account or you just like very, very brand new, feel free to check out our giveaway in the comment section. We got free snapshot for agency anywhere between prospecting to onboarding and fulfilling and recruiting and training. That's our giveaway. And if you like really, really brand new and you don't have a high level account already and you don't know what that is, go check out our introduction video which i'm going to be leaving a link somewhere around this video but it's just an amazing one all in one software that's going to help you save so much money if you're a freelancer if you're a really really agency owner who looking to scale it's going to help you make your client retention last a lot longer without further ado this is it leave a comment if you have any other question and see you in the facebook group cheers